Hello, good morning. I am Natalie Fort. You're watching the news in brief at 10.30. The first story for this morning, lack of potable water at the Awamasa Community Clinic in the Ashanti region is hampering quality health care delivery in the area. Health workers say they are compelled to ask patients in labor to carry water from their homes to the clinic before delivery. The Awomaso Community Clinic is the only public health center serving the health needs of residents of Awomaso and five other surrounding communities. The clinic used to record a daily average of 15 patients, but since the breakdown of its water system a year ago, most residents have stopped patronizing the facility. Mary Salifu is the midwifery officer in charge of the facility. We come and then ask them to fetch water from the community. Sometimes the person might not come from this community. We'll have to go far from the clinic to fetch the water. And most of the times before they get back with the water to the facility, the person might have delivered. The nurses sometimes have to trek for about a kilometer to their Womaso township to fetch water in order to administer some health services. The situation, according to the midwife of the health center, is having a toll on quality health care delivery. But until the broken down system is fixed, providing quality health services to patients will continue to be a Herculean task for the health workers of the Awumaso Community Clinic. And in a related development, an insanitary condition at Awomaso Bebre, a suburb of Komasi, has exposed residents to high environmental health risk. Residents say appeals for authorities to relocate the refuse dump site to the outskirts have yielded no result. For the past four months, timely evacuation of refuse at Awomaso Bebre has been a challenge. Residents here have had to battle with the unbearable stench and the breeding of mosquitoes from the dump site. Despite paying for dumping of refuse, the container often sits uncollected for months. The affected residents in the vicinity complained about the health threat posed by the situation. Managers of the refuse site sometimes burn the garbage any time it heaps, a practice residents say is unhealthy. Kwame Efrifa blamed contractors for the delay in collection of the refuse. He, however, said the refuse will soon be cleared. The only public toilet in the area is at the verge of collapse. The facility has multiple cracks on its walls and looks unhygienic for use. Checks at the Womaso Community Clinic revealed an alarming rate of malaria cases recorded over the past four months. The clinic recorded 103 malaria cases between January and April as compared to 79 cases within the same period in 2015. Midwife in charge of the facility, Mary Salifu, attributed the increase in malaria cases to the poor sanitation in the area. To avert a possible outbreak of communicable diseases, the residents have appealed to the authorities to ensure timely collection of refuse in the area. And that's all we have for you for the News in Brief at 10.30. We will bring you more news on Midday Live at 12 p.m. So do stay tuned. I am Natalie Fort. Enjoy the rest of our programs.